Hi guys, welcome back. We'll have a look at a uh, hotel by Montel Fish, and I'll be showing you guys the solo because I got a couple of requests for this one. Now, I honestly have no idea how it's sounding because the amplifier is just right behind the mic, so the mic is over here and the amplifier is over here. So it really sounds awkward because it's facing this side. I have no idea how it sounds like. But I will have a look at the solo. It's pretty much based on this uh, C minor pentatonic scale. So let's have a look at the first part. Also, it's kind of like a bit boring because we have the same notes repeating over and over again. So it goes like this. Start off with eight to 10 hammer on the D string. Then you hit the eight fret on the G string. And now we have 10 fret on the G string and we'll do this. We'll do this five times. I'm going for a full step bend on G10, which is basically 12 fret. So we have one, two, three, four, and fifth time will come down slowly like this. So we got one, two, three, four, down. So that's the first riff. And after that, we'll do this. Now I did a pull off from 10 to 8 on the G string. No, sorry. Uh, before that, I did this thing. Again, all the way uh, bent to a full step on 10 fret on the G string. Then coming down. Then I pull off from 10 to 8 on the G string. Then 8 on D. 10 on D. So we got. After that, we have the next phrase which looks like this. It goes like this. Just a minute. So what I did over here is I simply played A10 on the D string, again a hammer on, then 8 on the G, then 10 fret on the G, then a slide from 10 to 12 on the G string, then a back slide from 12 to 10 on the G string, then I play 8 on G, then 10 on D, 8 on D. So we got and then again the same thing a whole step bend on 10 fret of the G string all the way coming down come down right so we got the first two uh, phrases sounds like this Then we have simply play 8 on 8, 11 on E string, 8, 10 on E string, then 8, 10 on D string, then a slide from 10 to 12 on the D string, then a slide back from 12 to 10 on the D string. So we got. Hold on. The small line which you see over here, uh, which is like something like this, it's basically it means just to add a little bit of vibrato and like. Just to get that, so we have no leave it, just let it ring like this, and then we have so I'm playing 7, 8, 11, 8 on the G string, 7, 8, 11, 8, 7. Then I go to the D string, I play 10, 8, then I play 10 on A string, and then again the same thing. So we got so the third phrase sounds like this. phrase goes like this one two three four now what I did over here is I simply played 8 10 on A then 8 10 on D then D 8 then 10 on A then 8 on A and let it ring so we got so one two one two 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 and then I'll do this. I'll play 8 10 on A, then 8 10 on D, then a full step bend on the D string, 
Then I'll do a hammer on from 10th fret on the D string. Then 8 on G. Again a full step bend on 10th fret of the D string. And then you will do a final bend, which is a whole step bend on the 10th fret of the G string. And the song, the riff basically fades out the solo. Just like that. So uh, the fourth phrase sounds like this. Now I'll do one thing. I just play the whole thing uh, once uh, slowly and then in full speed. So let's go one, two, three, four. song guys uh, that's how you play the solo I hope the video helps you out again I literally have no idea on how it actually sounded like so if it's bad just forgive me and make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys back in the next video bye